Hello everybody, it's Torrent here from Woofer Gaming and welcome to your fourth instalment of how to program basic plugins for Bucket. Uh, in the last episodes, we managed to extend our code even more to register the events. Uh, we put the on enable and on disable uh, methods in and we put underneath the on enable, um, it's always going to register the events on the on enable and we're going to make it print line out to the log or system the version that we have got of our plugin. So. As I said last time, we are doing a player listener today, and that means a new class file. So go back to your Eclipse and just ignore all of this for a moment. You don't need to come back to it yet. Go File, New, Class. Now, you've got to make sure you keep your player listener name the same as you put it in here. Now, I put capital P, capital L. It could just be lowercase p for player, lowercase l for listener, but because I've put it as a capital P and a capital L, it has to be that. And I'm going to put basic in front of it. Just do what I do, and you'll be all right. So again, when creating a new class, just don't do anything else apart from name it. Click finish. I did enter there because it's quicker. And now we've got our player listener. And this may look quite daunting because it's got nothing in it, but I'm going to be showing you what we need to put in. So we need to get all of our imports ready. So public class basic player listener doesn't do anything at the moment so we need it to extend the player listener enter that's better oh. uh, we need to define it even more we need to public static basic plugin this is just describing it go down again we we'll do a public basic player listener basic instance Put another parentheses symbol there, and we want to put plugin equals instance. Okay, right, I'm still getting errors there, but I'll sort that out in a minute. What we've basically done here is we've defined the basic plugin and we've made the plugin an instance. So this will come in handy once we write the bulk of the code next time, or well, not next time in a few minutes. I'm just going to find out what's wrong with that error and I'll be right back. Alright guys, I'm back. It turns out I was away for like 5 seconds and all you literally had to do was just import the playlist and then make sure you do that. Again, as I said, imports are extremely important and I'm a noob for not realising that, so plus one star for anyone who face palmed when I didn't know what was wrong with that. Okay. So, we want to write down this code here and this is where the interesting part comes in. If you're really interested in knowing how the game mechanics work within Bucket, this is what we're going to be doing. So. Create a public void, and it's going to be called on player. So when the player does something, command. So when the player uses a command, and it will be player chat event, plugin event, uh, chat event. Sorry, and put event. So whenever the player uses a command, and when it's a chat event, it's going to be called upon. Okay. Just enter your parenthesis there and put follow why do. I will explain it after I do it string, put these little square brackets, split equals event dot get message, put little brackets, split, two speech marks that are open, like that, then put a semicolon after it. Now what we basically did here is we've created a string. Now what a string is, it's kind of it's 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 called split, but it's like it's kind of an array which is used in the hash map. So it's kind of like a a, um, a variable, if you will. Now, what the split does is it will whenever someone types something in Minecraft. So, for example, let's type down here to use a command. You do who if you're using essentials. Now, that doesn't use the split because it hasn't got anything after it. But for example, if we do I two five or two six six then um, that's using the split because it's got a space in between it. Now if you just did that, if you didn't even include the split, it would just recognise the I. So to recognise spaces within commands, you're going to need to know you're going to need to use the split. Sorry. So let's get rid of that and stop that spamming that. So what we're going to need to put now is obviously import the uh, player chat event from Bucket. Enter. 
and we'll just do the annotations. This gets the player that talked. Okay. And now we haven't actually got the player yet, but we've got the message the player has sent, if that makes sense. So to get the player, you do player, player equals event.get player, open brackets, close brackets, put your comma. And now this is the main part, this is what everyone is familiar with in like gaming programming language is the if statement. Now with the if statement you just put if and what it does is after you put the if when you put your method it will run through it and if it matches the method it will do that if that makes sense so for example I'll do it now we'll do split zero dot equals ignore case some brackets there I can't see open brackets put your speech marks in now what we're putting in here is we're going to be putting the command in here okay so you can never obviously put any command you want, but you gotta make sure you remember it. So you're not just gonna type something like hi because that would show up in the chat as well. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be putting basic. And what we've done is if the first part of the command is split and is basic, then it runs through and we're equal air, yeah, we're ignoring uh, uppercase or lowercase, it just wants the word, okay? So Right, so what we're running through there is if it's split and it doesn't matter what case it is and the thing they type in is forward slash basic, it will do the rest. Okay? So I'll ask about what equals there wrong. There we go. So that's why it's uh, not firing on error and obviously you need to import player from bucket. Okay, so put our comma there. Not our comma, our semicolon, which I don't actually need. I need to put another bracket. Okay, so now we're going to be entering another performer of a command. So, like Samco did, you're probably going to want it to do forward slash b like that, just so it's just you know ease of use of the command. So instead of doing another if statement, because I'll be running through two if statements, which will just slow the plugin down, you're going to do you know if it is basic or if it is. So we're going to be doing two lines like that and that means or in Java so we'll do split zero dot equals ignore case because we're not looking for case again let's get rid of that there because I can't see let's do speech marks B and let's close our brackets off so now while that's done is it will allow us to either type basic or just B and it's pretty simple to be honest again the commands aren't the funnest thing to code I mean I have fun doing the, uh, the block listener because that's when you get to interact with the box uh, the box interact with the blocks and you know, how they go about and doing it so that's the stuff we're gonna be getting on to in a few more tutorials and what we need to do is we need to run the method toggle vision and I'll get around to toggle vision in a minute just put this in just trust me and just put plugin dot toggle vision player and that and then we need to set cancel to the event because after we have typed after we typed out basic or b we want the event to cancel because we don't want it to be going on an infinite loop so again what we've done here is we've created a method I want to show that is whenever the player types a command and it's in the chat it will check the string it will check if it's split if there's spaces within the command it will get the message and then it gets the player then it checks if it's split doesn't care about case if it is forward slash basic or if it's split into no case well, it's not caring about case there if it's forward slash b so you could just type Forward slash, you know, caps B, but it looks better as being lowercase b. And then what we've done here is we're running the method for toggle vision for the player. And plugin dot toggle vision player, we haven't got through to that yet. I will cover that in another tutorial. Just put that in, okay? And then finally, we're getting the event and we're setting a cancel to it. 
because we've already, as I said before, we've done the event. We don't want it to carry on. Okay. So yours should look like mine right here. Uh, toggle vision will be an error because we haven't done that yet. So don't worry about it. And over here. All right. So that's it for our tutorial today, guys. Um, join me for episode five, which won't be made until uh, Friday, I think, because I'm quite busy at the moment. So I've already put one episode up, and these next three will be rendered, uploaded, and I'll probably I'll make some more tomorrow. So I have about eight to upload. So that's probably it. If this just helps you, please subscribe, please like, comment. Look forward to our next videos. Um, I don't mind making these. I mean, I learn on the way. I'm not the best plugin developer. I'm far from that, but I I learn by doing these things. So you know. If you want to see more like live plugin making tutorials between me and Sam Q, I'm sure we'd, we'd enjoy doing them. Just leave us a comment below. Alright, so I'll see you guys next time. Alright, peace.